Hey dudes, I'm Hyla, and today on Hyla Cooking, I'm making chicken fajita tacos. This is a great quick weeknight meal, and you can also easily do this on a grill. I'm gonna do it indoors because I'm kind of lazy. chicken fajitas. You need to get some chicken. I'm going to use some chicken breast here and I've sliced it really thinly. If you wanted to do the same marinade and grill your chicken, leave your chicken whole and marinate it for a little bit longer. But I like to do it like this to do it inside because you don't have to marinate it as long. It's really fast. I'm going to use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of lime juice, and salt. and pepper, and a little bit of oregano. And this is just my, this is one of my favorite marinades for a chicken. And I know that technically, I guess there's no such thing as chicken fajita, because fajita is a cut of beef, but um, whatever. A little bit of garlic. And just set that aside and let it marinate for at least 15 minutes, but up to an hour. Set that aside, and then I've got my vegetables already prepped here. I'm using some red bell pepper, some fresh jalapeno, some onion, and then I always like to add some squash or zucchini to my fajitas just because then I'm getting some vegetables in there and then I don't have to like worry about making another vegetable. Um, it's really just because, again, lazy weeknight dinner. So I'm gonna go over here to the stove. We're gonna heat up uh, my cast iron skillet with a little bit of oil and cook these vegetables in batches. I'm gonna cook the peppers first. And I like to leave them a little bit crisp. So just a couple of minutes on a high heat just to get a little bit of color on them. We'll pull those out, set them aside in a bowl. Add a little bit of oil if you need to and do your onions the same way. Just cook them however, however long you want to. I, again, like to keep them a little bit crispy. Then we'll do the squash, and I like the squash to be a little bit more cooked, so we'll let it go longer, but make sure you get some color on it, nice and soft, and pull that out, and we'll put it in a bowl with our other vegetables. Then add a little bit more oil, get the heat up really hot again. We'll add the chicken and sear it. Just put it in in a single layer, drain most of the marinade off, and don't touch it for a minute or so, if you want to get some color on there. Flip it over, let it go another minute. That should cook it will cook really quick. You can add the rest of the marinade and just kind of let that boil for a second. We'll add the vegetables back in, get everything coated, and then we're ready to make some tacos. It's beautiful taco time. I like to put some cheese on mine, and you can put sour cream or guacamole or pico de gallo or whatever, and some homemade of my special hot sauce. Ooh. So I've got a Tex-Mex playlist. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link below. There's a really, really, really good grilled achiote chicken recipe that I did with my friend Carlos. It's excellent, much more authentic than this, but no less delicious. Taste, taste, taste the taco. Taste the taco now. Mmm. Oh. My lipstick all over the tortilla. But that is a darn fine taco. I hope that you try this recipe. Don't forget to subscribe, I'll put a link below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next Thursday with a new recipe video. Bye bye.